Good morning, everybody. It's me, Kim. Just missed it. Marsha. And today I'm going to plant some herbs in the tires. And uh, some flowers in the front yard. So you can just watch me as I do it. How's that sound? I've got my little 12 inch square to help me plant. So I don't get my seeds too close together. <laughs> Since seeds are really important nowadays, I don't want to waste them. I might put some extra seeds in spots that, you know, I have, but I don't have to use as many seeds because I'll have, uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. So I'll have it all marked off. Okay, here's my first tire right here. So, I'm going to get this laid down. Hopefully you can still see. I see it's laid down. Put it right here. Take my thingy here and I'm going to take the weeds out. <clears throat> I don't like touching stuff with my hands. I know. Call me a wuss. This way, if there's a spider or something, I don't have to feel like I'm going to get bit because <clears throat> I'll have everything out of the way. And my hands will be covered with gloves. I feel safer. Then get all this out and level this out a little bit. So I'll be ready for the seed. Birds are always happy to see me. I'm trying to save all the dirt I can. In fact, there's a spider right there. I guess I knocked the phone down, didn't I? Let's see here. I hold the phone with one hand so you can see what I'm not doing. Get all this out of here so I can plant. the least amount of weeds I can get in here the better well, there's a little centipede or something don't need to be in there another reason why I like gloves <laughs> okay here comes our our first thingy to plant I'll put my square in the middle press it down and then I put my holes where I want the seeds since I these are herbs I'm going to put this side, a hole on all the red spots, so I know where to put the seats at. They're uniform, and they'll fit everywhere in here. Probably going to put two out here. So I can get every area waste not want not and let's get the seeds in pull this up and I should be able to see the holes let me get the seed packet now the glove comes off okay we'll do fennel it's upside down but fennel and this in here I'm gonna try to lay you down hopefully I don't knock you over and hopefully you can see what I'm putting in here. Let me see what you can see. I'm upside down, but yeah, you can see some of it. Okay. Another thing I like about this here square planter and the thingy that you the holes in the ground it also has a scoop that holds the seeds so you don't have to worry about getting too many or whatever so here's what the seeds are for fennel i'm gonna put one in each hole as best i can or a couple
Whoa. Way too many in that spot. Hopefully I got some of them. I'll be thinning it out anyhow, probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Depends on how much. How I've never grown fennel before. So we'll see. I know it's edible. I had a friend. We got some pit, pig meat from. Who uh, gave it me some fennel from her garden. And it was pretty tasty. The leaves. I don't know if this comes back year after year. Anybody know? This fin will come back year after year? Let me know in the comments. I believe I got every hole that takes care of my fennel that's planted. All I have to do is get my little watering pot and um, water it. Let's move on over. Where's my horse? Okay, move on over to the next spot. I'm going to plant some more stuff in this tire. Right here. down, go grab my seeds. <clears throat> Put my gloves on and let's get started on this one. weeds out, save the dirt, level it out, centipede worm thingy. Don't need those things in here. I don't know what they're good for. Could have fed it to the chickens, I guess. But I don't want to take time to walk over there to do that because I'm trying to do a video. This out and I put my planter thingy down so I can put the hose. Well, this tire this tire is a little bit bigger or smaller than the one, so I'll just go like that. <clears throat> And poke the hose through it and then go from there. Hope it goes all the way through. Yeah, it does. There's one. See, it's kind of nice, even though I can't actually get in there with the green square. I can still get my poker into the ground to plant the seeds ah, uniformly. Are you learning anything? Comment below. Anything you might learn. And what shall I plant in this spot? Let's see here. Echonesia. We're going to plant some Echonesia. And we'll see how that turns out. I'm going to do this differently than the last time. <clears throat> I'll take the seed and actually drop it into the hole that way.
Vietnam. Equinesia is supposed to be good for if it's medicinal. I have to look up exactly what you can use it for. <clears throat> but they're really pretty flowers. I hope they grow nicely too. Okay, I'll put <clears throat> one right here. Here, one, oh, I can get a hold of two. Here, oops, two went down there, and one here. Okay, that's done. <clears throat> Are you enjoying yourself? I hope so. Shall we do some more? This is Equinesia finished here. Uh, I have some mint. And some caraway left. I'm gonna have one fire there. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, head over to the next tire. Lay my planter down here, lay this on the tire so we can see. You can see a little bit. And put my gloves back on. Level this out, Put the leaves out. Don't need the leaves in there. Pray this uh, knock my camera over. Let me hold on to it. There we go. There's ants. I'm gonna have to get some peppermint oil down in here before I put anything in this one to kill the ants. See the ants? I need to get peppermint oil for my Young Living Essential Oils. If you wanna learn more about Young Living Essential Oils, go to my other channel, Oils and Wellness with Marcia. And you'll see all kinds of things you can do for your garden and for your life. For your health for your skin for your hair and follow me on that channel let's come over here to this other tire see how it is lay my planter down get the dirt ready and hopefully there's no ants in this and so hopefully you can see So far, so good. Ouch. That was pretty hard. Don't need the weeds in there. Really just want soft dirt. Johnson grass root. I hate it. It's really hard get rid of all these roots ain't going to be in here I'm doing this with one hand because I'm trying to make sure the phone don't fall this is too hard I have enough dirt in here anyhow when I was digging up the garden for my potatoes I filled these tires up with the dirt I was trying to kill two birds with one stone So, a lot of this is new to me. I mean, I'm trying to take up all the space I can for different items to grow to help my family, my husband, me, and friends and people from the farmer's market and whatever I can do. Okay, let's put the planner in. 
if it fits. Ugh. This tire's a little bit big too. We, we can still poke the hose down in there and get the seeds in. And, and you don't have to uh, poke the hole very deep because the seeds are really little. You just need a little marker, really. Now, I'll do caraway. These pretty white flowers. You can make a salve or something with caraway, I believe. You can make something. It's medicinal. That's why I'm growing these herbs, because most of them are help the family. With what are ailments in it? They cover and fix. I do research so I can learn. The researchers are agreeing with me. Okay. That's what the caraway seeds look like. It looks a little bit like. Uh, looks a little bit like what's it called? Uh, oops, can't remember what it's called. My mind is gone. Isn't this nice? If it's windy out, I probably wouldn't be doing this because I don't want my seeds to go everywhere. You don't know where they're where they're at, you know, when the wind just blows. Okay. Two more seeds. That's um, that's the herbs growing in the tires. I gotta get peppermint oil to put in the one tire with all my ants, and then I'll plant in, the, in it and get rid of those ants. Got some in this here tire. I have parsley, which I don't have to plant. I do have weeds in there that I need to get out. And this in here, I have to get the weeds out, and then get the dirt from those potatoes I planted the chunks on top and fill this tire up here then I can plant in that one. So anyway that's what I have for you today and I did say I was going to plant flowers didn't I? Shall we go up front? I got a string wrapped around my ankle going to trip me. Might as well let you watch me untangle huh? Bailing wire, something like that. So let's go up front in the front yard. And let's see, do I need that? Nope. I don't. I'll come back. Okay. We'll go up to the front yard where I have the. I guess I don't have the seeds for it, for it so we probably won't be planting flowers today. I have those in the house and I don't want to I'll just do that for another video <laughs> or I'll just do that and you can see it as it grows because I'm going to get that planted I had my husband mow the front yard and weedied so I didn't have to walk through all the big nasty grassy itchy bugs that crawl around in the grass so he cleaned it up for me with a zero turn one more. Isn't that nice how he cleaned it all up? Really nice. Anyway, that's all I'm going to do for today. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching. And when I show you my garden tour, flowers are included. So we'll have to walk where I plant my flowers so you can see all the different areas in the yard 
where I'm making it pretty and having some flowers and, and medic medicinal, if I'm not saying it right, you know what I mean. And uh, you'll get the recipes on making things with those flowers and teas. And we'll just do what I have to do. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ta-ta.